Yo guys, what's up? This is Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So Valve, the makers of Steam, have released a gaming console called the Steam Box. Now what powers the Steam Box is an open source operating system called Steam OS. I have installed the open source operating system onto my PC and I've been playing around with it for a few days and it's quite interesting. So without further ado, let's take a look at it. Alright guys, so right now I'm running Steam OS. I downloaded the actual operating system and ran it on my computer and of course I'll do a video um, in a short time showing you how to do that. But for now, here is SteamOS, a first look at it. Now, the UI is amazing. Honestly, from a visual standpoint and from a performance standpoint, it is really neat. Um, visually, it's just nice. I love how you have the floating tiles in the background and it's simple and to the point, but it works. As far as speed, it is like literally blazing fast. This UI, I mean, it's nice, it's fluid, intuitive, I like it. Um, nothing more can really be said about that. Up at the top, I have my um, account right there. I have my downloads. Right now, I'm downloading one game, Planet um, Team Fortress 2. Uh, I have my notifications and direct messages and things like that. So it's really nice. All right, so otherwise than that, SteamOS really tries to bring together all your Steam content. When I go to my library, I have most of my games here. Not all my games loaded, which is a little bit strange, but um. Most of my games are accessible via my library. Now, here's the problem with SteamOS, and I'm going to say it right away, and it's something everyone's wondering. A lot of these games are not compatible right off the bat. Like, for example, a game that I played, Portal 2, is not available for Linux. It's essentially what SteamOS is. It's pretty much a distribution of Debian Linux. So, Portal 2 is like one of my favorite games, and it's not available. Um, as well as uh, Battlefield. Um, that's not available, neither is Mountain Blade, or a favorite game of mine, which I absolutely love and spend like hours playing it. Planet Side 2, which is by the way coming to PS4, or no, PS3 I think, I'm not too sure. Um, like I said, hands down, one of my favorite games is not available. So, like I said, as far as SteamOS, there is still a lot of work that needs to be done to bring up compatibility with, uh, you know, Linux games and to make it on par with what you will see in Windows. So just know right now, if you're migrating to this for the first time, a lot of your games probably will not be compatible. That does not mean that you should not try this because it's still really cool. Another feature about SteamOS, one thing I love is you can go down here to the web, and this brings up the web, and of course I have my YouTube channel open. Flash does not work on here for at the time, for at least the time being right now, but um, you do have the web option. But once again, this is not really meant to be a web device. So when you're using SteamOS, the best thing to do to find games is go down here to store and go at the bottom and go over here and sort by over here Linux. Over here will be all the games compatible with SteamOS. I'm going to test the gaming performance. I expect it to be just perfect, but just to see right now I have everything on high. Um, and this is probably equivalent to what I would have it on my Windows uh, version. So let's just play multiplayer. Now, first of all, uh, don't judge me. I have not played this game uh, in like a while. So, like I said, I'm a big Planet Side 2 player. But it's interesting because I'm saying, even though the performance is good, it seems a little bit stuttery. And I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but something just seems a little bit off about this. It just doesn't seem as smooth. I won't even say as smooth. It just something does not seem as perfect as what it is on the PC. Which is interesting, I'm pointing this out too. But overall, this is extremely playable. Like, I'm having no problems playing this. And, oh gosh, oh, I just died, wow. Yeah, so like I said, I am noticing a little jagness. Um, a little bit, like it could be touched up a little bit. It could be enhanced, touched up. It's not exactly the same quality as I see on my PC, but I, like I said, I'm a picky person and you, this is still a very playable game, nonetheless. Yeah, I really wish I had my speakers connected. Sorry, guys. I really wish I should have connected my speakers for doing this. Because uh, this would probably sound a little more entertaining. And, oh, there's a spy right there. Ha, ha, ha. Look at you, spy. So, alright, guys. This has been a uh, quick overview, in a sense, of SteamOS. My final conclusion of this is that it has potential. Honestly, um, I can see this as being a console uh, gaming system because of the fact that, personally myself, being a PC gamer, 
have an ability to maybe have another gaming console that's in my living room, which I can go downstairs and play the same games that I can play on my PC, and having an extra portability is essential to me. Now, granted, like I said, the amount of games that are currently available for this are very limited, but once that gets all sorted out and that gets fixed, I definitely think this has potential. Uh, but like I said, until then, we just have to see what's going to happen. So what do you think? Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about SteamOS and will you try it or not. So guys, as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.